So um, this is a, a video that I wanted to make um, for a while. I've been watching some of the uh, YouTube videos talking about experiences about you know when they were Christian and when they weren't Christian and things like that. And so I kind of wanted to add my own to to the list, you know, so that people can kind of gauge some of the reasons why um, non Christians. Um, are especially uh, defensive around Christians. Maybe this can help. So, um, I I grew up Christian. Um, my parents are both Episcopalians. My um, upbringing, I went to Catholic school. It was the only Christian school in town. So, I've read the Bible many, many times because we had to or we got an F. <laughs> um, and I grew up with Episcopalian and Catholic teachings, basically. So I grew up um, pro-life and things like that because I wasn't really told that there was any other way. Although I started to question those things once become a, I became an adult. Um, but you know i don't i'm i don't hate my catholic upbringing my my catholic school or my episcopalian upbringing or anything like that that's not the story it's sort of the background of myself so um once i moved out of my parents house i had moved into um uh a trailer park because i didn't have a lot of money and uh it wasn't a very good trailer park to to say the least um one of our modes of entertainment since we didn't have the money for cable um, we uh, used to watch people get arrested outside at night and it was usually you know there was cops in and out of that trailer park people beating their wives people getting arrested for crack things of that nature <laughs> so anyway it wasn't a very good trailer park and I realized that you'll get all sorts of crazies like that in this kind of area but you know I still wasn't expecting what happened um, back in that time this was um, I would I think it was 1998 that this happened because um, my now husband then boyfriend had just moved in so it was 1988 or 1999 one of the two um, that we were living in this uh, trailer anyway they uh, there was I was um, I used to, to dress pretty much gothic um, you know the big leather boots and uh, you know leather 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 <laughs> chains 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 you know dyed my hair black, um, which I still do from time to time because I just like it, um, and, you know, lots and lots of black clothing. But, you know, in your in your youth, uh, I think you're allowed those uh, expressions of fashion. Um, I was still considered myself Christian, though, when I lived here. Very much so. I didn't know about any other religion. You know, I was still Christian. Um, and my husband was too, in fact, very Christian, <laughs> to say the least. Um, so when we um, encountered what we did in this trailer park, it was astonishing to us because we didn't think that modes of dress really mattered that much, but they do. They do, and this just you know goes to to show you know I think in one of the, one of the things that shaped my life, one of the things that made made me finally decide that Christianity wasn't right for me because it was so easily misinterpreted. This definitely added to that. This added to who I am today. Um, I'll just get right down to it. Um, one morning, I believe it was a Sunday morning. Um, uh, it was before noon, so I had just gotten up because I worked at night, and so did my, uh, well, then boyfriend, now husband. Um, and uh, there was a group of people who were right on the other side of the road from my trailer, part, from my trailer, which is uh, approximately 15 feet directly in front of my trailer. And uh, they were singing and chanting um, of things like you know that Satan lived in this house and they were some of them were crying and they were singing one person threw water on my car um it, it was a, a crazy mess of events 
Now, I've always been kind of, how that's the best way to put this? I don't want to say I'm a bitch, but I'm definitely um, antagonistic. I'll put it that way. Um, me and my antagonistic nature, I went outside and I was on my porch, my open porch, smoking a cigarette and just continued to flick cigarette butts in their direction. They were on the other side of the road. There was no way that the cigarette butts were actually going to hit them. But, you know, I, I, I tried to let them know that, that their, their ideas and things like that didn't phase me. The, the funny thing is, is that, like I said, I considered myself Christian at the time, and so did my husband. Um, we both considered ourselves Christian. The probably the, the worst thing that we actually did in their um, in their eyes is hang out with gay people and role play things like Dungeons and Dragons and Vampire the Masquerade. Um, <laughs> we, vamp we, we 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 didn't do the Vampire Masquerade that um, is actually bloodletting and things like that. Um, we did the rock scissors paper <laughs> bloodletting. Um, <laughs> you know, blood living for pennies and, you know, you fight doing rock, scissors, paper and things like that. Um, so for them to, to have done that was, you know, they, they obviously assumed that I was bad. And I, I started to think about, you know, how, cause this was a group of 20, 25 people. They, they had to have organized this at a church level. So someone's been preaching about me at a church. And so all this cul culminated in things like that, and so that's when I finally decided that I had to try to find something else, because I was I wasn't living I I didn't agree with Christian principles. I I still believed in Jesus Christ at the time, but I didn't um I didn't agree with most of the principles that were in the Bible. You know, I didn't see anything wrong with being gay. Um, I didn't see anything wrong with living with your boyfriend before you got married. I didn't see anything wrong with premarital sex. I didn't see anything wrong with dressing in black and playing Dungeons and Dragons. I didn't see anything wrong with hanging out with my Wiccan friends and things like that. I, I didn't see anything wrong with those things. But the Christian community and the Bible said they were wrong. But then depending on how you interpret the Bible, they weren't or they were. And that's where it got down to. It's like, instead of believing in words, I had to figure out for myself what I believed in. And that's when I started, I was agnostic for a long time after that, um, and then eventually became Wiccan. And so, uh, that, just to give you an idea, that's just one um, thing that happened to me. I'm going to try to post more.